So NFL analyst Nick Wright said that Caleb Williams, his bold prediction is not only will he make the playoffs, but will lead the Bears to the Super Bowl in year one. Um, He made some pretty valid points. You know, not many or even much of us Bears fans would agree with that, but he made some valid points when you look at his argument. Um, <clears throat> schedule is very soft. He said he could see us starting off at about 7-2 and two through the first nine games. Um, I think I got it a little different. I think I got uh, – what do I have? I have to go back. I'm doing my um, uh, win-loss. I'm going to see if uh, – See if my boy Judah Tribe want to do it with me. Uh, we'll go live. But regardless, I'm going to do my win-loss. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the way the schedule is set up, we don't play a divisional game until November 11th. So, um, when that's against the Packers. I mean, so that's pretty good. Get Caleb prepared before he played them tough games against the Vikings, Packers, and the Lions. So, <clears throat> He made some points. Um, you know, nobody's seen what Houston was going to do last year. I remember Lamar Jackson did it for the Ravens, but you know who he had as a coach. Um, who else? Another Andrew Luck, generational talent, the last one. You know, I said, well, Trevor Lawrence. So, I mean, I don't know. That's that's bold and high praise. You know, Nick 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 Wright been heavy on Caleb Williams. He's been very heavy on on Kevin Ke, uh, Caleb Williams, <clears throat> and I always say Caleb might be the most hyped prospect since LeBron James. And we all know Nick Wright is a big big LeBron James figure. So, I mean, that's a uh, that's some interesting talk. I mean, the team is loaded. The team is loaded. We got three wide receivers who can go for a thousand yards. Two vets who just coming off 1,200, 1,300-yard seasons. Uh, then you got Rome, who a lot of people picking could be the best pick in the draft. Uh, wide receiver and just period. You know what I'm saying? So, And then we got a 1,000-yard thousand yard rusher and uh, DeAndre Swift. Cole Komet, who was top five in touchdowns for tight ends. O line that's got some pieces and is and is improving. It's better than people think when healthy. Um, and then you talk about the defense. Defense, we we got some boys over there. Linebackers, we got uh, T.J. Edwards, Tremont Edmonds, uh, and y'all sleeping on my boy. Please do not sleep on my boy. He is a beast in the middle. Don't sleep on him. Please don't. My boy be out there balling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't even got to say the name. The white boy. He be out there balling in that middle. He the best we had since Erlacher. We thought White Nick was going to be him. But nah, it's him, bro. But um, nah, on a more serious note, but nah, bro be balling. Um, yeah, my boy Zach be out there balling. Y'all know he do. Um, And then, you know, you talk about the secondary. The secondary, uh, we all know we... Resigned Jalen Johnson. That was a huge move. You got Stevenson, who showed a lot of promise in his rookie season. You got Spider Man, Kyle Gordon. You got the secondary revamp though. Eddie Jackson replacement upgrade. Kyle Byer. Kevin Byer. My fault. I said Kyle. I was just thinking of Kyle Gordon. No Diddy. It's just because I mentioned him before that. So. We really got some pieces on this team. We got some pieces on this team. Montez Sweat. You know what I'm saying? We drafted the guy. Um, what's the dude we just drafted? Name? Um, ah, I'm thinking of him. The guy working with uh, he working with a uh, dude from the Raiders right now. Ah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Max Crosby. Um, so we got some guys. Do I agree with the take that we'll go to the Super Bowl year one? Yes, I do. No, no, that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of bold. I think we're gonna be a wild card for sure. Uh, we probably about a, a heartbreak or two away, but we're gonna have a really good year. And you know, we got the third easiest schedule in the league. You know what I'm saying as well. So, you know, and don't everybody Caleb Williams haters, people. 
brainwashed by the media gonna give me that crap oh what's caleb gonna do against good bitch go look at his actual numbers against those good defenses and tell me if you keep in that same argument tell me if you keep in that same argument go look at his actual numbers not the win loss okay notre dame was the worst game of his career we can acknowledge that everybody has those type of games Look at his actual win-loss. No, not the win-loss record. Look at his numbers. Man's putting up 300 yards, three touchdowns in games they lost. And you bitch, you telling me that's his fault? Bitch, you going to sit up here and tell me he's the reason they lost them games? No, bro. That's just not how it go. So really sit there and look at them games. Don't just be lazy and come with your own narrative because you're mad they got rid of your quarterback or because you're just not sold on Justin. No, bitch, give me an objective opinion. Or if you want some other guy to start. No, bitch, give me your objective opinion. Stop with all the BS. Stop listening to the media. Caleb Williams is going to get it done. He's walking into the best situation possible. Like this team, the NFC is the weaker conference. It's not impossible with the roster we have. But I think, you know, with a rookie quarterback, he's going to be he's going to be bound to make mistakes like Jordan Love wasn't a rookie last year. But you've seen that San Fran game. He had the mistakes in the end, which a game they should have won. Am I am I upset they didn't win? No, it's the Packers. I'm a Bears fan. But realistically, that's a game they should have won. Lions should have beat them. San Fran was very fortunate last year. Very fortunate. But I don't know. That's my take. What y'all think? What y'all think? How y'all think the Bears going to do in year one? Uh, what y'all think about Caleb Williams? But yeah, like, share, subscribe if you're new. Know.